Live music in Austin could be put on hold at some outdoor venues. City Council considering a moratorium on outdoor music permits starting Thursday. This is new at 5, Fox 7's Crystal Cotty, downtown, to explain. Crystal. And Mike, the city is changing their outdoor music ordinance. If you take a look behind me, the Cedar Door is one example of a venue that will be impacted when that ordinance is rewritten. Now, while they work, the city wants a timeout on all new outdoor music permits, but some worry this could cause new problems. Getting an outdoor music permit in the live music capital of the world is about to get a lot harder. We need to understand that as the music industry grows, uh, it impacts neighborhoods. Councilmember Mike Martinez is sponsoring a moratorium on new outdoor music permits in response to noise complaints from neighbors and recent task force recommendations. If the council approves it Thursday, it would go into effect immediately and last until February 26th. We want to try to address those concerns, but at the same time maintain our status as the live music capital of the world. City officials say the moratorium is necessary to clean up a confusing sound ordinance, and they say it won't affect South by Southwest, but local business owners say it could cause problems for them. It's going to create a hardship for, uh, for club owners. Frank Hendricks owns Emo's downtown. Every year he gets an outdoor music permit for the week of South by Southwest. He says the number of other venues doing the same thing triples to accommodate all the bands in town. By waiting till the last minute, everybody's going to be putting in for these permits. So, I mean, it's going to, it's going to overtax the, uh, the, the city. Martinez says the city can't afford to wait until after South by Southwest to make changes to the ordinance. But existing venues will be given an exemption to the moratorium if their permit expires before or during South by Southwest. We don't want to negatively impact them. Uh, so those that are set to expire between now and March 26th are going to allow to renew under the current rules. But new venues that don't have a permit yet have to hold off on outdoor live music until after February 26th or risk getting a citation. Martinez says the new ordinance will mean more enforcement of the noise ordinance and clearer rules for venues. And the city council will vote on this moratorium Thursday. Reporting from downtown Austin, Crystal Cotty, Fox 7 News Edge.